I just put uh my 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 controls my components in a, in um into a into a table just to even out things a bit um but one thing you gotta know about me is um I'm a, a user interface driven uh, I get motivated a lot when I see a good interface before I do the back end or something so, so first of all I get to create a good interface then uh, move on with it so this is now the new look of um, the login page that I've just created I just put in uh, a few, uh, 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 the components in a table and then um, with that with a little cascading style sheets just to even things out uh, align the table at the center as well as this uh, login heading so what we want is um, if we look at the code uh, a success um, string is retained when uh, a person enters a username admin and then um, a password logged so I'm just going to do that admin then logged and I log in I log in successfully welcome admin just um, as I told you because uh, I've declared uh, because I've inserted uh, the add session script annotation so as you can see the look the theme is a, a prompt face system is a prompt faces one so uh, the purpose of this uh, tutorial is just uh, is just to show you how to change it I know some of you know but some of uh, the people don't know so I just thought maybe I should share with you so the thing is um, uh, my libraries and uh, in my libraries let me show you in my library folder I got um the prompt faces jar I've already installed it I believe most of you know how to install the jar or you can refer to my tutorials my previous tutorials or any other guidance you can find so I just added a few component onto the web page this uh, XSGML page so just to show you like how it happens so just to simply change the um, the theme you just gotta go under configuration files or rather the web pages the web pages expanded then go to the web.inf expanded and have the first is the config dot xml this one is uh, mostly for the navigation just to define your navigation rules and uh, cases but that's not what we're going to work with so to change the theme we just need to work um, with the web dot xml you can find it in that folder or under the configuration files folder it's just the same thing so just to, to change the theme you first of all have to add the library an external library you can go to prime faces it's only that my internet right now is down I don't have internet I could have shown you but you just go to prime faces .org, then uh, look at theme uh, you can find the theme downloads um, and hopefully you can find something that you want or you can just simply create uh, your own theme so I've downloaded a couple themes so what I'm going to do is right click on the libraries folder then click on add jar folder or add library but I'll add a jar folder oh my machine is starting to be a pain in the back then come on okay so um I'm on pause and really look where my um okay where my jars are okay so I found uh hopefully I'll find it I, I'll find um a good jar that I remember I, I got loads of jars that I downloaded oh the jar folder um yeah I got Cupertino I believe this one is uh is another thing that I downloaded. Uh couple of things I got bootstrap. Okay, I got bootstrap. So bootstrap is uh the one that looks uh that makes uh the Twitter bootstrap the Twitter bootstrap. 
I believe you have come across it. So I'll just wait it for I'll just wait for NetBeans to add that library. Come on, come on, come on. I'll pause it. Okay, so it's done. I've added my bootstrap low uh, my bootstrap jar, my bootstrap jar for the theme, the tutor bootstrap theme. So after adding the library, all you gotta do is uh order context parameter here uh in your web dot XML file. So I just add um come on come on it's context param yep I'll add a context parameter and then uh context oh sorry parameter name as well as uh, parameter and then uh, on the par parameter name you just type uh, prime faces prime faces dot theme prime faces dot theme and then uh, the parameter value you just um, give it the name of your job file for example mine is bootstrap uh, but instead of putting bootstrap uh, hyphen 1.0.1.9 I'm just going to say bootstrap like so because that's the value you deploy it and um, refresh I hope this works oh the theme file it happens a lot so <sighs> pause a little so uh, I've changed my uh, my bootstrap the bootstrap theme it works but I don't know the problem uh, the theme because getting started uh, theme.css um, I'll show you in another tutorial how to go about it. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to change the theme, basically. So, I've imported another theme called Cupertino. Called Cupertino, and it's just the same. Parameter name is prime faces dot theme, and then the parameter value is Cupertino. You don't have to include 1.0.9. So, I'll save it, then clean, clean the project. After cleaning, then I'll. Uh, after cleaning, then I'll relaunch it. Okay, so I'll, I'll log in, admin dot, and then the password. Then log in. And as you can see, the Cupertino theme is bluish like so. Uh, the theme has changed uh, as compared to the previous one, the default that comes with Prime Faces. Anyway, uh, I hope you learned something. Thank you for.